you've been through Why you got scars Since you walked through the door I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb Think I've heard it before In a movie line We can ride Welcome back to the channel or if you're brand new here, what's up? My name is Jennifer I share all things health and wellness here on the channel and today I have another weekly vlog coming at you guys This is actually way later in the day. Sorry. They're doing construction on my street So I don't know if that's probably loud But it is already later in the afternoon when I am starting this vlog. It's about two o'clock My niece is having a baby. I've been on FaceTime with them in the hospital for a while now I'm actually getting ready to head to the hospital but I wanted to go ahead and get this vlog started I already had coffee this morning filled up my water I've already actually killed my first half gallon I just filled it up for a second time added some of the Redmond's electrolytes to it I had some meal prep for lunch the egg rolls with Kali mash that was awesome opti greens opti reds all of the things I am gonna be walking later it is Tuesday I did not start this vlog on Monday like I normally do because I had a full day yesterday of a bunch of other stuff. So I did go to the gym and do pool day yesterday. So today is normally just a walk day for me, which works out perfect since I will be at the hospital for probably the rest of the evening. I'm not sure honestly how long, but I'm going to bring some snacks with me. I will show you what I am bringing. I'm gonna bring my other half gallon so I can work on my water while we are there. And then dinner will be up in the air depending on what time I get back. But nonetheless, I wanted to go ahead and get this week's vlog started. So I hope you guys are off to a good start this week and are setting your intentions and mindset for the week to crush your goals. Good morning happy Wednesday it is hump day guys it's about nine in the morning just got back from getting little guy to school and just finished up my coffee I have been on a major coffee kick this week because I am trying to steer away from the energy drinks if you guys have caught any of my recent videos or vlogs you know that I am trying just to adjust a few things and see why my sleep has been so off and why I haven't felt my best so kind of cutting back on the energy drinks and just carbonated drinks all together and see if that makes a difference in how I feel but it is Wednesday it is hump day I did not end up vlogging the rest of the day I was going to start the vlog this week's vlog yesterday as you guys saw but I ended up going to the hospital with my niece and just had a chick-fil-a salad for dinner took a couple snacks to the hospital I'll insert a picture here had one of those paranormal pumpkin puffs um, I'm not sure how I feel they weren't bad but they're not my absolute favorite either I don't know. I They only sent me a couple. I'm going to have another one today. I'll let you guys know. Sometimes after the first time you try them, you're not sure. You got to have them again. You know what I'm saying? To really like seal the deal. So I'm going to try it again. I'll let you guys know what I think about those. But I have some yummy stuff planned today to eat from meal prep. And I filmed all of that. It would have already went up if you guys didn't see it. Go check it out. Definitely some yummy stuff in there. But today is leg day. So we are going to hit the gym and get a good leg session in. And hopefully it's an awesome workout because you know workouts have been really hit or miss the last couple weeks so we are hoping and setting our intentions today to have an awesome day to have an awesome workout and to just have an awesome rest of the week and crush our goals and try to make as many small wins every day that we can so I hope you guys are trucking along I hope you guys are all feeling good and having awesome workouts and fueling yourself with awesome food and all the things to make you feel your absolute best so here's what we're working with for our morning fuel to get us fueled up and ready to rock and roll for this day and to push us through leg day. I of course have my Opti Greens and Opti Reds here that I go in with every single morning. I just do one scoop of each just to make them last longer and that seems to work perfect for me. A serving is two scoops each. You could do whatever you want. I have done both but I seem to do okay with one scoop of each every day. It really helps with digestion and bloat and stuff like that. So love this stuff. I get this from First Form. And then I'm also going in with some strawberries and cream protein for oats from PE Science. Absolutely love this stuff. 
stuff hands down makes your oatmeal so creamy and delicious all the flavors i have tried have been spot on and of course i always have a link down below get you 10 off 30 if you haven't ordered from them before and their stuff is awesome they have smaller sizes in these too like the little single serving packs which when i finish these that's what i will be ordering but like i said they're all awesome and look at the creaminess and deliciousness that it makes and this is the oatmeal i'm using the good and gather brand the organic plain instant oatmeal it is bomb from target love it and then i am also going in with a marigold protein coffee this is their vanilla collagen latte grass-fed collagen peptides organic coffee has two shots of organic espresso in it 99 calories 20 grams of protein and less than one carb super super clean ingredients this stuff is awesome always have a link down below and with gentle save you 10 percent from them as well so this is all the goods i'm gonna fuel up on and then we will head to the gym for leg day oh and i almost forgot this is what i topped my coffee off with with this I got from Aldi's this is the maple vanilla whip topping it's 15 calories a uh, serving and then I put about 40 milliliters of this fat free fair life milk into my oatmeal just to make it a little extra creamy I normally add water and it does awesome too but I figured why not just go ahead and add a little bit of that I also added about 30 milliliters of this in my coffee this morning and I have all that in the carb manager and all of this is clocking in this morning at 384 calories 46 grams of protein protein and 27 net carbs. All right guys, per usual, the day has gotten away from me and it's already one o'clock. I really had like every intention to go to the gym like as soon as I had some oatmeal this morning after I dropped little guy off at school, I was gonna have some oatmeal and hit the gym and then do all the rest of the things that I had to do, but it did not work out that way. Per usual of my life, stuff always gets flipped upside down and I have to rearrange and reschedule and all of the things, but we are doing it nonetheless. I finished my coffee. This has a double shot of espresso in it, so I am not doing the pre-workout today because hashtag sleep. I am trying to get my sleep life better and cut back on the caffeine some. So since I had that after I had regular coffee this morning, I figured that I don't need to go in with the pre-workout also. And then I end up going in with like a zero sugar soda later. And then it just ends up being so much caffeine built throughout the day. And I really think that's why my sleep has been like absolute garbage lately. And I know that's playing a huge role in my workouts and the way that I'm eating and the way that I'm feeling like sleep bleeds into everything you do throughout the day in your life your health journey just everything sleep is so 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 important and mine has been garbage so I know that's part of why I have been feeling the way that I've been feeling the last couple weeks also it's about to be that time of the month actually it should be today and so I'm sure that the last week or 10 days that I have really felt like garbage that's played a huge role into it because you guys know my hormones are like out of whack a week ahead and week of my cycle so it's just been next level but we are ready to go crush some legs out have my water there working on it I don't even know if you guys can see me it's like so dark in the viewfinder but I am on my way to the gym we're gonna go knock out this leg day then we will head home and eat some yummy meal prep I don't know if that's a little better you guys can see me probably not but anyways we are going to head home, like I was saying, to get some meal prep that's already ready to rock and roll. Super stoked about that. And then knock out the rest of our to-do list. I'm multitasking right now. I have my MacBook over here uploading a video to YouTube while I am heading to the gym. So hopefully I can have that up for you guys since I was at the hospital and just everything that was going on the last couple days, I was a little behind on editing and getting that up for you guys. But we are going to get it up and knock out the rest of our to-do list and hopefully have a super awesome productive day on this hump day today.
from the gym now did right over an hour had a super killer leg day threw a couple ab workouts in there as you saw but now i am back and getting ready to eat up some meal prep just warm this up i have some sweet chili chicken here some green beans and some of the natural heavens brown rice here this is the sweet chili sauce that i used it is the bomb if you guys have not tried this sauce i don't know if i think i've already told you guys but this stuff is fire and then i'm not really too keen on these sunkiss orange i thought i was a fan now i don't think so as much but i have a few left so i'm gonna go ahead and use them up and then filled this baby up again i went in with some of the blackberry immunity relight i have really been loving this one this week you guys these are bomb they taste delicious and they're super super good make sure to get your electrolytes in but all of today's lunch is coming in at 276 calories 51 grams of protein and 10 net carbs it's a quarter after four just got back from getting little dude from school and i'm going in with my afternoon protein gains the same snacks i go in with all the time but i'll go ahead and run over it because i get new people all the time and if you're looking for ways to get your protein in highly recommend all of these things of course the chops pepperoni seasoned turkey sticks i absolutely love these clean ingredients they're 60 calories a piece 10 grams of protein definitely one of my fave go-to snacks to get my protein in of course my absolute number one fave is the cookie dough chunk built bar absolutely love these guys hands down you guys know if you followed me for any amount of time i am obsessed this one is my fave i wish i would have got like 10 boxes when they had them but i still have a bunch left so i'm going through them slowly i have a bunch of other flavors that i like too this is just my number one go-to always have a link down below and with jen will save you some money definitely stock up awesome snack awesome way to get your protein in and then of course my ancient nutrition bone broth collagen i've been taking this for a couple years absolutely love this stuff it's amazing for gut health hair skin nails muscles joints bones all the things absolutely love it it's 50 calories a serving 14 grams of protein i have two scoops in there so it is 100 calories and 28 grams of protein love this take it every day so that's what we'll be having for our afternoon snack i will be prepping dinner here in a few minutes but we have to run out and do a couple errands so we won't be eating until a little later when we get back we've got dinner all plated up here it is 7 30 right now we're back from getting halloween costumes because you know me we like to wait till the last minute to go do that but we ended up getting our costumes they're going to be super cute but i made up some salisbury steaks here with some sauteed onions and mushrooms paired it with some cauliflower mash there and then here i have some regular whole kernel corn and some cream corn mixed together which i used to love doing pre-keto and we haven't had it in forever absolutely love it but this entire plate is coming in at 536 calories 59 grams of protein and 23 carbs dinner was delish but you know we never skip dessert and i am like so excited for this i made some of these brownies for meal prep so if you guys didn't check out that video it would have already posted so definitely go check it out and i threw some white chocolate chips in there and they i've already tasted them they're delicious and the macros for just one of the brownies are 85 calories seven net carbs and eight grams of protein i have two of them in there and then 150 grams of vanilla fair life ice cream this stuff is really good 45 percent less sugar nine grams of protein 150 calories a serving so for this entire bowl it's 383 calories 30 grams of protein and 39 net carbs and i am almost done with my water so i will finish it off with this snack so this all finishes me off for the night at 220 grams of protein 49 9 grams fat 1849 on the calories and 105 on the net carbs for an awesome day of eating and a wrap to Wednesday night morning fam happy thursday it is thursday morning and it's nine on the way back from taking little dude to school of course and it is like gloomy and gray out and i am not here for that i like the vitamin d i like the sunshine especially because i'm gonna go walking this morning and get some steps in um i haven't walked i was going to walk last night and i was gonna walk tuesday then i was at the hospital with family and then we ended up going and running doing some errands last night and ended up watching a christmas movie so we did not end up walking last night but I'm gonna go get my walk in this morning it will be nice and cool so that's one good thing 
but I'm gonna go home and whip up my Opti Greens and some meal prep breakfast casserole, which will be delish, I am sure. I actually haven't tasted it yet, but I know it's going to be bomb. And then we will go get our steps in. I already got my entire house clean this morning, which feels good because I was definitely feeling behind on that. I've been preoccupied with family this week with my niece at the hospital, so I was behind on like house stuff, on work stuff, on editing, everything. So the video this week is going up late, but that's just the name of the game. All right, guys, I just warmed up some of my breakfast casserole. I already had to taste it because it's just irresistible and it turned out so delicious. Again, make sure you guys are checking out those meal prep videos. Super easy just to throw this in the microwave, warm it up really quick, and breakfast is ready to rock and roll. I, of course, also have my Opti Greens and my Opti Reds because we can't skip those. These help out so much. This is a uh, little more than a serving I have here in the bowl. So it is 337 calories and 41 grams protein. If you do just a single serving of this, it is 295 calories, 36 grams protein, and three net carbs. Breakfast was bomb, but now I have decided that I am going to the gas station to get a bang. I still have some of those Alani New Energy drinks, the Witch's Brew, but I honestly don't want to drink those because they were making me not feel that great. I'm not sure everything that's in it or what could be making me feel off when I drink them, but I've actually seen that other people are saying the same thing. And I don't know if it's just that flavor. Um, I haven't had any of the other ones, I don't think. So, like I said, I haven't had them now for a few days, so when I try it again, if it makes me feel like that again, then I'll know that that's definitely what it was and to not drink those anymore. But I know the bangs don't make me feel like that and I am not having pre-workout today because I'm not going to the gym and so I won't have like a ton of caffeine. I won't have the zero sugar sodas that I bought. I only got the root beer kind so they are caffeine free. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with a bang. I have a bunch of stuff to do before I have to leave and meet my family at the hospital later. So I'm going to go ahead and knock out the to-do list. As you can tell it's been like non-stop pouring rain since I got back to the house this morning. So that's why I haven't went on my walk yet. There was actually just a tornado watch somewhere in our area, which is no bueno. So that's not good. But I think it's supposed to be clearing up in the next like 20, 30 minutes or so. So hopefully it does. That balloon just scared the life out of me. When we went to Party City yesterday for our Halloween costumes, the lady gave it to my little guy and it was still in here. And that just almost gave me a heart attack. But anyways, um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, the rain should be stopping soon, so hopefully I can go try to bust out like a 45 minute walk. If not, we'll try to get it in later this evening so that we can still hit our step goal and still get our movement in and get everything else that we have to do throughout the day as well. So I'm gonna get this bang, go back and knock out some work, and then I'll probably have lunch right before I leave to go meet my family. Just got back from the store, and if this balloon didn't almost give me a heart attack on the way there, a raccoon just ran in front of my truck driving a little bit down the block from my house. So that's a hard damn no from me. If you guys have followed me for any amount of time, you know I do not do raccoons. I'm like scared to death of them and they aren't normally supposed to be out during the day. So that stresses your girl out. So I will not be walking until hubby gets home to walk with me. Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm good. I don't want steps that bad, but I got my bangs, so I'm feeling super good about that. I'm gonna sip on this. They always have a deal, like two for four, whatever, at the gas station, so got a second one for a different day, but I'm gonna go in here and knock out some work, and it's actually not raining now, too. And I probably would be fine, but my brain just won't let me do it, like, because it literally just ran across the road, and I have no time from that. That just super freaked me out. So I will be getting some other stuff done and then we will be doing a later walk when the hubby is here. All right guys, it's about 12.30. I'm getting ready to head out to the door to the hospital and then I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be gone. So I am bringing my lunch, which is my meal prep, sweet chicken chili, green beans, and the natural heavens brown rice. And I'll tell you guys the macros for that in a little bit. 
But I was going to do the turkey egg rolls today and the collie mash, but I've had collie mash last night and already a couple times this week. I just wasn't feeling it. Plus, I swapped dinner out tonight from what I originally had in the meal plan, and I think these macros will go better with tonight's dinner. So anyways, just rearrange some stuff. I'm also bringing a zero sugar root beer, no caffeine. I am out of my chomp sticks, and I still had some of these new primal turkey sticks, so I am bringing a couple of these. And then I am going in with a cookies and cream built bar. I haven't had cookies and cream in a little while, so I am bringing one of those. Those. and then I just topped my water off again and I added some of these new mango electrolytes I got a ton of new stuff sent from Redmond and I'm so excited to try all of it and share it with you guys I'll let you guys know how I like this flavor but I'm gonna pack all this up and head out the door all right guys I just got back home it is 8 o'clock or almost 8 20 now and I didn't end up eating these turkey sticks so took those off a of card manager I have dinner rolling here I am just making some Philly cheesesteak sliders I had some ground turkey and I also had some ground beef 93% lean each of them so I just threw those in there together to go ahead and use them up with some onions peppers weighed all that out gonna cook this up and throw it on some of these Hawaiian sweet rolls for the fam and some of these chompies. I made these uh, last week, I think, when we got back from the Las Vegas Keto Expo. That's where I got them. I also made some ham and cheese slider that I had filmed for a what's for dinner. Kind of did it the same way. That will be posting soon, but these are 10 out of 10 delish. So I'm going to throw these together. It will be super easy, and then we will eat dinner. Oh, yes. Look at that awesomeness. It is Oh, well, it's nice and fogged up now, but it's super creamy and delish. But now this is all ready, and I am going to throw it on the sliders. And here are the nutrition facts and ingredients for these. They're from the company Chompies. Only 58 calories a serving, which is killer. And there's 7 grams of protein for each roll, which is phenomenal. Okay, so dinner is ready and we're going all in since we skipped out on some of our snacks. We are definitely going in with the protein. We have the loaded Taco Quest chips. We have three of the sliders with a gaton, if that is a word, of the Philly cheesesteak filling in there. And then I'm going in with a zero sugar root beer because it's caffeine free and I've already killed my second water for the night. This entire dinner is coming in at 748 calories, a whopping 93 grams of protein and 14 net carbs. All right, guys, going in with the exact same thing I had last night, some of those brownies that I meal prepped up. I have two of them in there, and then I have some of the Fairlife vanilla ice cream. This stuff is bomb. These brownies are bomb. I definitely will be making them again. And like I said, I already finished my water earlier. So this will finish me off for the night at 232 grams protein, 64 grams fat, 1854 on the calories, and 68 net carbs for an awesome day of eating and a wrap to Thursday night. It is after 12 now, so good afternoon. Happy Friday. It is nice and sunny out, not like yesterday, so that always has your girl feeling better. I am on my way to the gym, just working on some pre-workout here. The Redmond's Go-Go Juice, of course, which I got some new Redmond stuff that I am super excited to try and couldn't come at a more perfect time. I'll explain all of that to you guys later and show you probably in next week's vlog or maybe later this afternoon, I'm not sure. But anyways, I already had breakfast casserole that I meal prepped this morning. That's the best one that I've ever made. It is so delicious. And then of course my Opti Greens, all the things, have my first half gallon of water here, loving it. Got my new Buff Bunny gear, loving that even more. This is like one of the best outfits that I've ever got from them. I believe this is the Nucleus Jacquard set. I'm not sure, I'll have to look it up, but their stuff is like 10 out of 10 recommend. So you guys know I'm always feeling better when I have my awesome gear and my hydro jug, all the things that help me feel better, look good, you feel good, right? So it is push day today. We are gonna go to the gym and knock out an awesome push day. I am determined to have a killer workout today. It has been a busy, crazy week with 
being preoccupied with family and all of that. It was a good visit at the hospital, nothing stressful. A new addition to the family, so it's been an awesome, great week. Just busy and off routine a little bit, but that's okay. We are still trucking along. We've still stayed on plan. We've still hit our macros. We've still got our movement in. We haven't got our walks in as much as we wanted to this week, that's for sure, but that's okay. We didn't even end up walking at all yesterday. But I didn't end up getting home till later last night and you guys know it rained the rest of the day. But hopefully it will stay nice out and we will knock this push day sesh out and then we will also get a walk in later. Walking in the sunshine is like my medicine to fix all things in my life. Like absolutely love it, you guys know. So I'm gonna finish up this pre-workout, get my jams on so that we can get all pumped and jazzed for this push day. Rushing through my body I know that it is here to stay It's like you're my personal Illuminati I know that some might say that I am just a bad girl But if you treat me right I will be the best girl in this whole world No, I'm not gonna fight I got my hands on your body So tell me Tell me what you want me to do I can be good or be not in another push day was it an over-the-top workout no but it wasn't a horrible workout either so that is a plus and are we feeling a hundred times better that we got it done absolutely so feeling better about that all sweaty got to do the sauna for a little bit which you guys know I love and I am definitely feeling better not back to myself my sleep is still and eh. But I was just going through a bunch of comments that you guys left, a lot of people dealing with similar things or suggesting a ton of different things that it could be. And I don't like to play the guessing game because I'm not going to cause unnecessary stress. It could be a gazillion things. And your symptoms, you go Googling it or listening to a lot of other people and then you put stuff in your head and what we think is super powerful and I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Uh, I appreciate all the suggestions or advice or things that people say. I just try not to like put too much stock into any one thing until I know for sure and I am going to be going to a natural path doctor I've been wanting to do that forever and just haven't made the time to do it but I do plan on doing that at the beginning of the year and getting like a full hormone panel all done and just really try to make sure that my hormones are like right where they should be and that my body in as optimal health as it can be so I will be definitely going down that road. But until then, I'm just going to cut out or minimize things that I think may be affecting me or don't serve me. And the things that do serve me well, I am going to stick with those and be as consistent as possible. That's all I know to do myself as much as I have learned on this health journey and research that I do myself and all of that. I know how I feel the best and I can only do those things. And if it's beyond that, then we will definitely find out and go down that road and I will share as much of that journey with you guys as possible as well 
as of right now, I honestly think it's just a couple minimal things that I need to do, things that I need to be better at and consistent with and all of that. And I think that I'll be right back to smooth sailing. Ups and down and off weeks and all of that are normal, but I don't normally have multiple off weeks in a row. Like that's very rare for me. So that's what's really making me think about changing some things up. So, but we're feeling good right now and we are absolutely starving. Totally killed the water today. So I will fill that up and put some electrolytes in it as soon as we get to the house. And what I was gonna do for lunch, the spring rolls, I am going to scrap those. I'm gonna just throw in some Tyson black and chicken strips and have some cucumbers cause that's just what I'm feeling like. And that's why I love to have those on hand. So when I'm just in the mood for those, they're super quick and easy to throw in the air fryer and we'll be good to go. I know a bunch of you guys don't have them in your area and that stinks cause they are such an awesome source of protein to cook up for lunch super quick. I know that some people have got Target to ship them to them. So maybe you could try that. Easy peasy, threw it together, already had the cucumbers cut up. That's why I always love having them already cut and on hand. Throw the Tyson chicken strips right in the air fryer. I am pairing it with some of the G Hue sugar-free honey mustard sauce. Threw some of this organic garlic pepper on the cucumbers. Threw some Relight mango, this flavor is bomb. In my water, filled it up for a second time. Now I am going to inhale this before I go get little guy from school. We still have a busy afternoon today. Okay, so we're getting ready to head to karate here in just a minute. It's not actually normal karate class tonight. They're doing like a trunk or treat. So I am bringing some snacks while little guy will run around to all the trunks and get him some goodies. I have zero sugar root beer, of course, cookie dough chunk built bar. And this is a new snack, which I'm super excited about. Air dried thinly sliced beef, 32 grams of protein, zero sugar. I got these off of Amazon. The ingredients are super legit, as you can see, and there are the macros, 160 calories, 32 grams of protein, less than one carb, and four grams fat. This is the garlic flavor. I will let you guys know how these are. I got like a multi-pack off of Amazon, and I will let you guys know how they are. Okay guys, so it's like 7.30, we literally just walked in the door and I am not starting dinner this late and I'm super starving and beyond tired, so thank God for leftovers from last night. Just have some of the Philly cheesesteak sliders, some Quest taco chips, super easy, just heated that up. It's 521 calories, 67 grams of protein and 10 net carbs and that will hit the spot for dinner tonight. Still working on my water and then of course we still will have a snack as well. Dinner was bomb. I'm going in with my last little piece of brownie here. And I am also going in with the fudge brownie yasso bar. I haven't had one of these in months. They are 100 calories a piece right there. One gram fat and five grams protein. I love the fudge brownie ones, but like I said, I haven't had it in forever. So I'm excited to have that. And that will finish us off for the night at 245 grams protein, 64 grams fat, 1879 on the calories and 60 net carbs. Put us a little bit over on our calories because of swapping out dinner. Completely fine with that. Still an awesome day of eating and a wrap to Friday night. So that is a wrap for another weekly vlog. This is actually now a couple days later per usual because of all the Halloween and fall festivities over the weekend and stuff I didn't get to do the outro actually Friday night we ended up staying up really late watching Christmas movies we ended up having some like popcorn and snacks and stuff I didn't get up and film it I was already done for the night but I always keep it 100 with you guys and when I am filming I always show you everything that I eat throughout the day so I obviously wanted to tell you guys so even though I didn't get up and like plug it into my macros they did end different on Friday night so I just wanted to let you guys know that but we ended up eating off plan and having an awesome weekend and just enjoying ourselves. But come Monday, we are back on track, back to routine and actually have some new plans and goals moving forward. I will detail all of that in next week's vlog. So make sure you guys are looking out for that. If you enjoy these weekly vlogs, make sure to give me a thumbs up. That definitely helps me out. Subscribe, make sure all your bells and whistles are clicked down below that way you guys aren't missing out on any videos as I post them. And of course, always hit me up over on Instagram at in with Jen. And I hope you guys enjoyed the Halloween weekend with your fam. Let me know down below if you guys dressed up. We all dressed up this year. It was super fun and we had an awesome time. And I hope you guys did as well. And as usual, thank you so very much for watching and I'll catch y'all in the next video.